Well, hello everybody. It is IP Games here, and I have a sort of an installation tutorial uh, for you guys. Um, I know that I use Technic Launcher a lot, um, and it doesn't always the mod packs don't always have the mods that I want. And like, it's a great, you know, it has a great like base, I guess you could say, but it doesn't have everything that you need. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to the whole process, like how to fix the item ID conflicts, how to install different mods into your Technic Launcher default mod pack. So I have my Minecraft loaded right here, um, and then my Technic Launcher right here also. And um, if it will, I don't think it will open up another window. But I basically I'm using this is Attack of the B Team. And uh, I'm gonna add some mods into it. I'm gonna apply, add. Cr I'm gonna add uh, my ICBM, maybe Atomic Science, um, Applied Energistics, and Build Craft. So some of the like the more bait, the more mods, the more kind of like complex mods that give you like a lot of stuff. Like the quarry is really important. That's one of the things I'm really looking forward to. But anyway, let's get jump right into it. Let's not uh, dilly dally around too much longer. All right. So the first thing is, is you want to have your Minecraft up and running because you want to see what version it is. So right here it says 1.6.4. It's going to be extremely, extremely important. You always want to remember that um, because we're going to have you're going to have to download the right mods. So if I go to my tab here, I just downloaded all of them, um, all the mods that I wanted. So I'm going to be getting some build craft, um, applied energistics. Um, I'm going to get my uh, atomic science. And then I had to have my Kalkavia, Hoclavia core, and universal electricity, that kind of stuff, just for it to work. Then I have my Chroma Hills mod pack, or my, uh, not, my not a mod pack, the resource pack, or whatever it's called now. Um, so basically, I will have all these links in the description, descriptions if you want to, uh, you want to put the same ones that I, that I have. But um, just one thing is that when you download it make sure it's a dot jar file or and make sure you read the instructions so if it says you can just drag the file into your mods folder then that's that's what you want so basically what you're gonna need to do is since I just downloaded all of these I'm going to actually close this out for right now so yeah so we don't have uh, it running and try to install mods it's not be good, gonna be a good thing but this is the mod pack I'm gonna edit here I'm going to close everything out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my downloads. There we go. I'm going to go to my top here and I'm just going to sort by um, date added. So we just have all my stuff. So basically these are all the things that I'm going to use. So I'm going to grab this and actually let's just Go to here. So I have my universal electricity, Calclavia. Okay. Just want to make sure I get the right mods because some of them I was doing a different version. So I know I need these three. All right. And then here is my build craft. And then my. Uh, there's come on. There we go. And then the my applied energistics. So we can close that out. So here are all of my mods that I need. So right now I'm gonna go to go and I'm going to go to folder. And then you're gonna type in this pathway. I'll put that in the description as well. But basically you're gonna click go here. And don't mess with this folder because this could really, really F up your computer major. So we're gonna go and we're gonna go find Technic, and then we're gonna go to Mod Packs, Attack of the B Team, or whatever mod pack you're using, and then here is everything. So like here's your saves and everything, and I just reloaded my Attack of the B Team just so I can have a fresh start and show you guys. But it's really easy what you need to do. So basically, you click on your mods folder and you drag all of you drag all of these in. It won't work with some mods just because they ha require core mods and you have to drag them to the core mods folder. But we're not done yet. So basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to keep 
this here. We're going to keep this up, and we're going to go back one, and then we are going to, let's see, where do I need to go? Oh, yeah, config. So you need to go to your config folder, all right, and you just want to stay there. So if you have a list of what mods you installed, that'd be good too, so you can find them really easily. But what we're going to do is I'm going to hide this because we need all the screen space we can. And we're going to shove this guy up here. And basically, make sure when you run this, it's going to be windowed because uh, last time I did this, it kind of froze my computer and I couldn't, well, this Minecraft froze and I couldn't get out of it because it wasn't full screen. So basically what I'm going to do is with all these mods is I'm going to hit play and it's going to load everything and it's going to verify everything and it should work. It should work. But what it's going to tell us is it's going to tell us which uh, item ID conflicts we need to tweak. So let's just wait for this and it should show up in the beginning once it starts to load. And I sometimes I like watching this, try to read it at the same time. But this is just basically what it's doing, so I know that it's actually doing something instead of just freezing. That's why I like to have it. But it's l it's loading all the blocks and everything and everything for Minecraft. All right. So now, a list of ID conflicts has been written to the file idconflicts.txt in your Minecraft directory. So that's what we wanted. We just needed it to load and everything. So we can close that out for right now. You might want to keep that open just for later. And so right now, we're actually going to create a new tab, and then I'm going to go to folder, library application support. This is for Mac, um, but if you need Windows, basically uh, what you're going to do is, actually I'll just put that in the description, it's basically, you're going to do the same process, except you just, there's a different um, command to get there, and it's just percent app data, uh, percent, make sure at the end, and then you search that in your... Uh, search bar and basically you'll find it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Technic, Mod Packs, your Mod Pack, and then there's going to be idconflicts.txt. So we're going to open that and there looks like there's not a lot of them, thank God. So what we're going to do now is we can close this tab. So you're going to want this config back up. So we're going to find the one we can find for so it looks like Buildcraft has a lot of item ID conflicts. Right, okay. So we're going to go find our Buildcraft folder in our configs over here. And there it is. So it's a folder here. So and then we're going to open, then we're going to, you're going to right click on this. And then you're going to open it with uh, text edit. I made it text edit default. It won't open it up in text edit the first time. But you just have to select uh, application just by going, just right clicking on it again and then open with, and then you would say, it'd say other here and you just open it with it. But we're going to do that first. And now this is comes the tasking part of this whole thing is that we're going to make this a bit bigger. Oops. Okay. You're there. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay, so right now we have 1501. So we're going to look for 1501 here. Oh, there it is. So it's a drill ID. So basically what we're going to do is we can delete this number and we can make it a different number. So I like to start, you can start with any number. Just going to go 1800 for this one. All right, so that one's good. So now we have to go find 1502. There's 1502. And then we're going to go 1801. It really doesn't matter what numbers you pick as long as it's just different from what it says. Okay, now we're going to go find 1511. Which should be right there. And then 1802. Alright, real easy. And then... Did I just do that? I just did that one. So 1523. Oh, what? 1522, actually. I'm sorry. Um, so 1803. And then I need to find number two, three. There's more down here. I don't think there. This is like some of like the. See, like the how um, far below can mining machines dig and that kind of stuff. They make it real easy for you to change. Um, but let's get back to it. One five two three. It just spotted it. 
So let's go 1804. I think what we're, that's what we're at. Then we need to find 24. There that is. 1805. 1530. Let's find that one. You can find these faster than me, then I applaud you greatly. Alright, and then. I think, did I just find 1530? Yep, that was 1530. Alright. Um, oh, that was 106, because that's 05. Um, and then we have 31. So let's find 3 1. Somewhere there it is. So 1 8 0 oh, 7. Alright, so there we go. And basically, we're just going to command S that or command save. And that should be good. And if I missed one, then it will tell me. So basically, I'll just keep this up for now. Don't mess with anything while it's loading. So let's go select Attack of the B Team back in our Technic Launcher. And we'll see. Um, so we just have to wait a second while this loads and should verify everything and it, everything should work and then if it if I missed one then it's get then it will come and say in another ID conflicts.txt we can go back and fix that I think I got every single one of them and then after you're done with um, if you got all of them right and everything's good you can just delete this and it will be okay Because this is not really a huge deal. It just creates this file and leaves it just for you. But it will not let you play it until you fix all these ID conflicts. So, same thing. Oh, so it looks like we missed one. Um, Alright, so that's great. Um, real great for video, right? Alright, let's go back one more time. Let's close that. Reopen it. Okay, so we missed one. So 1801, we did twice, I guess. Alright, so let's just change this to 1-1. One, one. Alright, that should work. I don't know what that error was. I think that's okay. Don't worry about it. So now we can close all that out. Everything looks should be fine now. Now we're going to hit play again. And it's going to verify... If you guys have any other ideas or any other um, modded kind of things or tutorials that you want me to do, tell me, uh, show me a link, and uh, I will I will definitely definitely do it for you guys um, because this stuff can go get quite difficult. So I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible, but I really want to go everything over in detail and make sure I don't mess anything up because this is quite finicky at times. And this Chroma Hills mod pa or, uh, texture pack that I'm using is it's real nice. It's very, very nice. So look, we have all of our mods in. And if you look in the bottom right-hand corner here, 124 mods. It said 119 before. So if we go in here, oh, look, we got Applied Energistics Core right here. And I'm not going to go all the way through it, but you get the idea. So I'm, if we can just create a world real quick. So we'll just do that. Um, and guys, if you want, I can show you how to do it in a server. That would be, I mean, I am I can make this, it's not going to be too hard. It's pretty much the same exact thing, except it's a little bit different. So what we're going to do here is it's just going to load up the world, and I'll show you all of the different ones we got. Okay, so the world's loaded. Let's just make this bigger for you guys. I won't go to total full screen, but... All right, so basically here we are. We are in our world, and let's go to our inventory. Oh, did I say game mode C? I don't have permission. Isn't that lovely? But basically everything should work. There we go, I'm just creative. It should be pretty fast here. Um, yeah, so if you guys want me to do a server, just shoot me a link. It's not not really that hard. Uh, it's a little bit different. 
Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to fly up here for you guys. And here are all of our creative tabs. So let's look, let's look. Oh, there's our first mod, Atomic Science. That's one of the ones we just added. Alright, so that's good. Um, let's see. Not one, there's, there's one there. There's our Applied Energistics our, in our build craft. I think there's one more. There should be. Unless they added it all into the build craft. I think that's what they did. Hmm. Yeah, so that's, I think that's what they did. They, uh, the two core mods that we... Well, not really core mods, but they said they were. Um, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Um, it's not too hard, but it can get very confusing at times. Um, yeah, so if you guys like this, please... Sh give me a like give this video a like and um, subscribe if you already haven't because it does really help me a lot um, yeah so I'm just gonna place one of these blocks down for you guys just to, just to show you yeah see look there we go so it everything's works it's alright I'm not gonna go build a whole fission reactor but basically you get the idea alright guys so that was it for today um, if you liked it, like I said, please enjoy, uh, please like it, subscribe, do everything. You guys are cool. Um, and I'll be back for another video again soon. All right. Thank you guys. Goodbye.